It's very unstable. It's about to explode. The thing is, it could be tomorrow, or it could be during this broadcast, and it would shine like a second sun in the sky. The James Webb Telescope has just detected a sudden 250% increase in Betelgeuse's brightness. Betelgeuse, the red star situated at the shoulder of the Orion constellation, has been exhibiting some weird behavior, fueling anticipation for a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. Some say the increase in brightness could be the star getting ready to go supernova, but when exactly is it going to happen? Experts speculate that it could be soon. Join us as we take a look into the depths of space and delve into the mysteries surrounding this celestial giant. After all, Betelgeuse is capable of reshaping our entire understanding of the universe. A massive increase in brightness even if you're not familiar with its name, you've likely gazed upon the magnificent Betelgeuse, a radiant reddish dot shining brightly at the shoulder of that well-known constellation. Right now, Betelgeuse is incredibly massive. In fact, if we were to put it at the heart of our own solar system, its outer surface would reach beyond Jupiter's orbit. To this day, this colossal and easily observable star continues to fascinate us. Unlike most stars, Betelgeuse changes before our eyes due to its relatively close proximity to our galaxy. Betelgeuse is classified as a semi-regular variable star, meaning its brightness fluctuates, sometimes dramatically, as it steadily moves toward an eventual grand collapse in a supernova explosion. Although already quite conspicuous, Betelgeuse has become even more interesting in recent years due to unexpected fluctuations in its brightness that we still struggle to comprehend fully. Why is Betelgeuse shining so brightly and behaving so strangely? It's uncharted territory, but its recent behavior was caused by an event back in 2020. Betelgeuse went through a period known as the Great Dimming in 2019 and 2020, which we'll get to later. Because of it, the nearest red giant star to Earth is now pulsating at double its usual speed, illuminating the early evening sky in the southern hemisphere. This strange behavior of one of the brightest stars in the sky is providing scientists with unprecedented insight into the demise of stars as it rapidly transitions between its bright and dim states. In recent times, Betelgeuse has occasionally exhibited more than a 50% increase in brightness. However, on May 20, 2023, Betelbot reported something strange. Betelbot is a Twitter account dedicated to tracking Betelgeuse using information from the American Association of Variable Star Observers. It tweeted a staggering 142% surge in brightness, and now the most recent updates indicate a 150% increase in brightness. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics notes that it currently ranks as the seventh brightest star in the night sky, climbing three places from its usual tenth position. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you can easily see Betelgeuse shining brightly in the early evening. Just look for it located at the shoulder of the Orion constellation. You can also see Betelgeuse from the Northern Hemisphere when the days grow shorter. Dr. Sarah Webb, an astrophysicist from Swinburne University of Technology in Australia, points out that one of the coolest things about Betelgeuse is that we can actually see the final stages of a big star's life happening right now, which is something we've never been able to study in so much detail before. By watching how Betelgeuse behaves, we can learn important things about what happens to red giants before they explode as supernovae. When it eventually explodes, it could become incredibly bright for about a week even during the day, and it might even cast shadows at night. This has caught the attention of both amateur stargazers and professional astronomers. Everyone is excitedly waiting for a really special event. You see, one day, Betelgeuse will explode and end its life in a supernova. And since we're just 650 light-years away, we'll have the best view of this amazing cosmic explosion. Heidi Morris, a scientist at Los Alamos National Laboratory and the president of Pajaro Astronomers and Astronomy Club, says that people really love Betelgeuse. It has been going through these changes in brightness for a very long time. Astronomers have known for a while that Betelgeuse brightens and then fades again. People from Aboriginal Australian and ancient Greek cultures even noticed this pattern thousands of years ago. Normally, the brightness cycle of Betelgeuse lasts around 400 days, but right now, the star's brightness is changing much more quickly, about every 130 days, as observed by Andrea Dupree, who studies the star. 
This unusual behavior started in 2019 after Betelgeuse forcefully blew off a part of its outer atmosphere. So, these changes in brightness are not typical for Betelgeuse. But does this mean the star is going to explode into a supernova? It's hard to say, as this is completely new territory. According to a paper written by Dupree and other scientists from Harvard and the University of California, Berkeley, it will take another 5 to 10 years before Betelgeuse goes back to its usual cycle of changing brightness every 400 days. The authors say that Betelgeuse has never been the same after the great dimming, it's been acting differently in terms of its light and radial velocity. Still, Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant star that has lived a fast and intense life. It's only around 10 million years old, while our sun is 5 billion years old. Betelgeuse is currently in the final stages of its rapid evolution. Eventually, when it exhausts its fuel, the core will collapse under its enormous mass, resulting in an explosion that can outshine an entire galaxy. It is bound to happen, but like everyone else, we're curious to know when it will. When is it going to blow? There is a lot of speculation about when Betelgeuse will eventually explode in a supernova, but experts are doubtful. Roger Chevalier, an associate professor of astronomy at the University of Portsmouth, who studies supernovae and has even written a book known as Supernovae, says that we currently have no way of predicting when stars will explode, so we have no clue about when exactly Betelgeuse will go supernova. It makes sense that it's really uncertain because, throughout human history, we haven't had many supernovae to study. Despite the hopes of astronomers, chances are slim that anyone alive today will witness the spectacular explosion of Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse still has a lot of work to do before it can go supernova. As a red giant star, it undergoes a series of fusion processes involving different elements like helium, carbon, oxygen, silicon, and iron. When a star becomes a red giant, the intense pressure in its core allows it to fuse helium into carbon. This process takes thousands of years. Eventually, the star progresses to fuse carbon and helium to form oxygen, and the cycle continues, producing heavier elements like iron. Then, at the end, the star won't be able to get energy anymore from fusion reactions, leading to it collapsing under its own weight because of gravity. The end result will either be a black hole or a neutron star. Based on the analysis of chemicals in Betelgeuse's atmosphere, it appears that the star is currently in the earlier stage of this fusion process, specifically fusing helium into carbon in its core. Unfortunately, we can't see what's happening inside the mighty Betelgeuse. Jared Goldberg, an astrophysicist at the Flatiron Institute, points out that Betelgeuse will explode at some point, but that soon could mean within the next 10,000 to 100,000 years. Goldberg mentions that he wouldn't risk his career on the immediate explosion of Betelgeuse. There's some interesting evidence suggesting that Betelgeuse won't be exploding for a very long time. If you dig into historical records, you'll find that over the past 2,000 years, the star has actually been getting redder. Jason Ibra, who studies stars and the history of astronomy at West Virginia University, explains this fascinating observation. So, it seems like we might have to wait quite a while before Betelgeuse blows up. This implies that Betelgeuse transformed into a red supergiant relatively recently in cosmic terms, so it could take a considerable amount of time for the star to deplete its fuel completely. To the best of our knowledge, Betelgeuse is unlikely to go supernova anytime soon, according to Ibra. But what does NASA say about when Betelgeuse will go supernova? According to NASA, Betelgeuse is not expected to explode for another 100,000 years. Heidi Morris suggests that we shouldn't assume it will remain unchanged even in 10,000 years. We should stay attentive and let it inspire us to advance scientifically. Although it is highly unlikely that we will witness Betelgeuse's explosion in our lifetime, Dr. Sarah Webb reminds us that we cannot be certain. We should keep both our fingers and toes crossed and hope for some luck. It's important to note that we are observing Betelgeuse in the past. The light we see from the star is more than 600 years old. Theoretically, Betelgeuse may have already exploded, and we would be unaware of it. Indeed, this possibility exists, but it is far from definite. Past experiences have shown us that our expectations can be challenged. Prior to 1987, astronomers believed that only red supergiants could undergo a 
supernova explosion. However, the supernova 1987A, observed in a nearby galaxy, involved a blue supergiant. This discovery completely transformed our understanding of supernovae, as highlighted by Dupree. Consequently, the realm of supernova explosions remains unpredictable and captivating. Undoubtedly, stars can be rather unpredictable. Who knows, maybe Betelgeuse will go supernova during this broadcast. It's certainly possible, although highly unlikely. That's what makes it so thrilling. Keep looking up, you might just witness something truly spectacular. You might want to follow the Betelgeuse watch on Facebook, where updates about the Red Star's behavior are shared. We've left a link in the description below. It's true, scientists around the world are keeping a close eye on the star, utilizing various methods to observe and study it. We continue to analyze the star's brightness, motion, and chemical composition to gain insights into its state and predict when it might explode. In conclusion, the anticipation of Betelgeuse's explosion adds an element of excitement to the study of the night sky. The world eagerly awaits the moment when Betelgeuse will go supernova, offering a rare opportunity to witness one of the most extraordinary events in the universe. Until that time comes, astronomers will continue their observations, and Betelgeuse will continue to captivate our imagination.